What is he? Sam, do you know what he is? Is he a bear? I would think so. Hmm. Does a bear poop on the bed? No. He doesn't? Okay. I hope not. hope not. So we have Doc in Aruba. Got a little catamaran coming up next to us here. Beautiful, beautiful place. Wow, this is great. Sandy is going through the coupons that they gave us at the little show we went to this morning. They have a carnival show uh, before the cruise to kind of show you what's on shore. Aruba. On Aruba. And uh, she's packing our bag. We're letting all the crazy people off first. Yep. Then we'll go. Yep, then we're going to go. We're going to chill first. Now, we don't really have any plan for today. We probably are just going to tool around the island, check out some things. I do want to go to a guitar shop while I'm here. I know I'm crazy, but I do want to go see what the guitar shop looks like or music store looks like here in Aruba. That's my only plan for the old trip. In the distance, you can see the Aruba Asheron launch pad. That's the Aruba launch pad. Stuff. At least that's what somebody told me. So we have to tell you the story about why we're in Aruba. Do you know why we're in Aruba? I'm not sure. <laughs> Our friends Debbie and Jason, who normally would be on the cruise with us, booked this cruise. And they said, do you guys want to go? We said, yeah, sure, let's go. And what happened? Why are they here? Well... A grandbaby was being born, so they decided to stay home to meet the grandbaby. Yeah. Which is totally understandable. Yeah, but... Next the time. The grandbaby actually came a week earlier than they thought they could actually came with us, but... Well, they wanted to stay there and help. Help with the new baby and, and Judah. Yeah, that's their other kid, Judah, the other grandbaby. But anyways, it's just us, and uh, are we happy? We're having fun. Yeah, we're having fun and can't wait to go see Aruba, which we're gonna do in just a little bit. I mean, look at that water. I mean, oh, come on. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. That's that's what I wish our ocean looked like. Yeah, like, that'd be cool. Instead of sludge. Yes, you can fly into Aruba as well, and the airport is right here on the beach. It's pretty wild to watch the planes come in. As you get off the ship, you'll enter this mini mall and you have to uh, decide which way you want to go. The fork in the road says right or left and we will take the right path. We'll head up here and check out the shops and decide what we're going to do once we get on the uh, main drag of Aruba. See how long it takes her to stop into one of these shops. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mine goes the other way, yours goes longer. Mine goes Well, there it is. Shop number one. Oh, that didn't take long. So these people we were in line with earlier at one of the seminars they uh actually they they're, they're right there so these people here they're all dressed up they're only here to go see the five it's five o'clock somewhere that's all they're going to so they can go down to the renaissance and get their drink get the uh card i don't know something they don't so if you want pizza or whatever they got pizza in here in the terminal you got your Aruba aloe, aloe, which we're gonna get some of that. I don't know we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it, but we're gonna get some of that. So, wow, look at those people. You're fine. You go ahead. Oh boy, look at all those people. But those are people waiting for excursions. Yeah. 
So when you come out of the terminal here, you'll see all the buses and cars and trucks lined up for excursions. So that's where you catch your excursions right here. At least most of them. Some of them you will catch on the other side, but most of them are going to be right here. And if you're planning to do what we're going to do, you'll just head straight through, follow the lines, and you'll head out into downtown. And then you can explore on your own. I saw this bus over here, it said Palm Tours, I thought it said De Palma Tours, or Denor Tours, or whatever it is. What else Canadian people have? Denor Tours. I thought it was one of those buses. He was driving like a maniac, so I figured it had to be them. All right, so as you come out of the terminal, you'll come out. As we just went by where all the uh, pickup for excursions are all there, and you got all these uh, different little huts down here. We're gonna go into the the city and see what's going on in there. The uh, Symphony of the Seas docking with us today. They got off early, so they actually got to uh, explore early on today. We're we're in here at about 1.30, so. Let's go, baby. How you doing, my buddy? What's happening? How you doing? Thank you. <laughs> and car rental guys, good afternoon, car rentals. Yes, they're at every port. All right, so we're gonna come in here to the, uh, like a little straw market is what it looks like. This is where Sandy is gonna have some fun. Unfortunately, her mic, did not power up. So we're down one mic for the day. That means you're going to get to hear me the whole day. That's, that's just the way it's going to be. Now, here, now we're starting to get a little bit of the wind. Yeah. You were asking, Sandy was asking about the wind, and now we're, we're actually feeling it. I saw our first hat down. Pretty neat little Jeep. Actually, it looks like a Toyota. Hey, a Toyota. Hey, there's a Harley Davidson shop. There's a guy actually on the ship. He wanted to know where the Harley Davidson shop was. It's like, dude, let's go to Daytona. They're everywhere. Oh, dollar plus, Sandy says. She points out the dollar plus right off the bat. We're gonna walk down here, and uh, here's the trolley. The little, these little line, these uh, rails here are from the trolley. So you get a free trolley around the, uh, the port if you want. So we went into Diamonds International. Got That's, our charm. We got our charm. Yeah, we got the Aruban charm. A dolphin. A dolphin. Yeah, you can't really hear what she's saying, I'm sure, but. It was a dolphin, so I'll just kind of repeat what she says. Otherwise, if she would like to do some sign language, that's fine, too. I'm going to play tourist now. Let's walk around, look at all this stuff, and we're going to go down here and, and try to get some uh, free Wi-Fi first so I can contact my store and make sure everything's okay back in the home front. Hopefully my employee is all right. He's not really an employee, he's just a guy helping me out, actually. Can't say he's an employee. Buddy Brian.
the sights and the sounds of Aruba. The architecture of these buildings is actually really cool. I like that. Oh, there's that Lucy's place up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's like Juicy Lucy's in uh, Asheville, North Carolina, where they have the uh, bison burgers. I love those things. Just went by this place and they had a whole fish that you could order and, and eat the whole fish. And Sandy looked at it and went, oh, heck no. <laughs> it's a paddock. I like how they have these little donkeys and this, I don't know what that is, a cow gorilla, I don't know what it actually is. But you sit down and take pictures of them, actually pretty funny. It's LG Smith Steak and Chocolate. Across the street, I guess. It's probably in the, uh, the Wind Creek Casino, the LG Smith Chop House, Steak and Chop House. This is the uh, Lucy's Retired Surfer Bar and Restaurant here in Aruba. Shaka Bros. This one's right there. That's it, right there. That's the, uh, they have Wi-Fi in there. One of the things uh, I'd say is it's windy down here, but it ain't breezy. breezy. Everybody keeps talking about how breezy and windy it is down here. But I mean, where we live in, in Daytona or Ormond Beach, we get days like this all the time, so this is nothing. I guess if you live in North Carolina or Missouri or somewhere like that, it might be windy to you. But like I said to me, no. Starbucks, we're going to get some free Wi-Fi and we got a strawberry lemonade, frozen. Yeah. Nummy, it's good, isn't it? So we stopped into the uh, little shop over there, back there. We're in the Renaissance little marketplace, I think it is. It's where 5 o'clock somewhere bar is. And there's a movie theater in here as well. Got some gum, four bucks. Went, got on some uh, Wi-Fi at Starbucks. And uh, pretty interesting walking around here. Fun. Yeah, a lot of people go to the beach. We can go to the beach. That was a short little walk through. Now where to, my dear? I don't know, we'll look when we get up here. We'll look and we'll see what's up here. Hey, it's a Coca-Cola VIP experience. I bet they got some of that nasty taste in Coke. Oh, there's a box office for the movies. I wonder if they have Civil War playing. They have Civil War playing? First Omen, Kong, that's playing. They don't have Civil War. We saw Civil War last night in IMAX. Oh my God. Oh, it is playing here. That was a, a freaking wild movie. We enjoyed it a lot though. It was really good. Sandy pointed out across the street, this place has live bands, so Ruba's top bands. I wonder what Aruba's music is. What do they play? Are they like the Florida Top 40 where everybody plays Guns N' Roses, Poison, Motley Crue? Or do they actually play newer stuff like they should? Sandy said we're going to walk down to Surfside Beach. It's only about a, it's about a five mile walk, but we can walk it. Oh, look at this, and Frank. Hmm. I don't think that's Anne Frank, though. Might be. We don't know where we're walking, we're just walking. We're just enjoying it. One of the things we've heard that is, uh, Aruba is very, very safe. It's not like a lot of countries, you know, maybe Mexico and stuff where you aren't quite as safe. They say here, it's one of these places you can walk around, check things out, 
I know they got a bad rap for that Natalie, I think Decker was her name, but I think other than that, everything's pretty cool. This lady lived from 1898 to 1948. Will Hell Mina. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Probably not. I probably just butchered that really bad. I'm sorry. And down here we go. One of the local natives here. Please don't disturb. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, there's another one over here. The whole family. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of them. There's another one. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Here's this one over This here. one's chilling over here. Let's check him out. Dude, what's up? What's down there? Anything good? He's cool. He has markings. I don't know. He is cool. Oh, is that is shading? Yeah. I was going to say it's shading, my dear. Yeah, it makes them look cool, but yeah. I'm heading. <laughs> this duck decided to come out here and chase everybody away. The lizards have uh, headed the other direction. He's like coming towards us. He's like, yo, you got food? I'm being chased by a duck. MR ducks. MR too. See him wings? Yeah, dude, stay back. Stay back. Stay back. The duck is chasing me. Duck, please. No autographs. Please subscribe to the channel. Florida Fun and More. Hit the like and subscribe button. Duck sees he's wagging his tail. He says, I'm going to right after you leave. I'm going to subscribe right on the Wi-Fi that I have that I'm stealing from over there at the Renaissance. You know, that duck should live in Florida. He's got a red neck. He likes a NASCAR, big trucks, you know, playing boom outside of his truck, saying he's a red neck. That's right. It's a really good thing that she doesn't have a mic on today because she would go and snap, pop, pop on her gum. She really knows how to pop it and she won't stop. So you're lucky she's not mic today. You gonna walk in it? Is it cold? No. No? Not at all. Yeah. Let me take my shoes off. Put my shoes down. Let's go look. I gotta check the water. Oh yeah. It's like bath water. Oh yeah. Look, I can see my feet perfectly. Ooh. Ooh. Sandy just told me a really good point. She doesn't want to get, a, she doesn't want to get her, what shoes. did you, shoes? Shoes wet. Why? Got to walk around a lot. Exactly. Now I'm going to have like sand in my shoes. That was really bad. I got sand on my feet. <laughs> we are hungry, so we stopped here at the west deck right on the water. Then you got the fish tacos. I'm gonna need the doggy bag. You're gonna need a doggy bag? Yes. Oh, thank you. Here's some french fries. Oh, we got some french fries. And I got, you know, the traditional uh, Aruba burger. So we just <laughs> ate at the West Dock, or West Deck, excuse me, West Deck. That was all right, wasn't bad. Hey, we ate an Aruba, and the view was absolutely stunning. So that gets a lot of points right there. Uh oh, here comes the popo. I'll run into this fort and hide. I believe this is the iguana sidewalk. It's pretty small. Whew. 
How do you like that house? How about that house over there? We are just exploring, just walking around, checking things out. We don't know where we're at. We have no idea. Mahi Mahi, catch of the day. Red snapper, octopus. I don't know about the octopus. I wouldn't try that. Wood fired grill. That's what that is. So we're outside the Renaissance Mall. We're going to go in here. Psycho Bunny! Oh, 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 oh. We have packages. Hey, we found the bad part. Look out. It's all beautiful until you find one part of town. And they always seem to find it. We found it in Costa Maya. We found it in Cozumel. We found it in... Oh. Where else did we find it? I can't, there was one other place we found it. It was really bad. I can't remember, but we found it. Definitely found it in Daytona Beach. And in Orlando. We got lost one night in Orlando, coming back from a place called Cowboys. Yeah, we found the wrong part of town. Looks like this is all closed. Looks like all that's closed back there. Ground is uneven. Hey, it looks like the I-77 or I-4 traffic stopped once again. Now this is a little local area where the, where the locals sell goods and uh, kind of like a little straw market they have like in the Bahamas and stuff. Now we just walked through it real quick and left. There really wasn't much here for us. These trees are really cool. They're really neat. Coco Canoe Bus, and uh, that's the party bus that we wanted to go on, but they were booked. But we're going to do a lot of this stuff. We have decided we're coming back to Aruba, there's no doubt about it. Let's see where the next wreck is. Oh, this this guy actually let him go out. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go. So we gotta cross the street without dying. So now we're gonna go to the I Thank Love God. Aruba. Thank God. Oh, we'll go out in the line. Yeah. Why not? But it's in the shade. Yeah. It's a dry hot. Right. <laughs> if you've ever been to Arizona or you know places like that, they always say it's a dry hot. You know what? This is a humid hot. I'll take this all day long. That dry hot, all it makes you feel like, you know, if you go to Vegas, it just makes you feel like you're sitting in an oven just cooking. That is not fun. Cindy's already trying to go back to the ship. Told her we don't need to go back to the ship yet. We got till 10:30 to be out here. Oh, they have the VIP ropes here just for me. We don't know where we're going. We're lost. Ah, there it is, the surf shop. So I want to go to the surf shop. It's probably closed. Probably. It's a little dark. This is the way it is. Tried to go to the guitar shop, never closed. So. 
Yep. We're too late. They went south, went to uh, surf. I don't know how the waves are. It must be good on the other side. Oh, look at those baggies. They're all me. I could have bought those. The checkerboard. Oh, man. Can't you open up just for me? Oh, they say they're open. You want to go and weed the beach people? She doesn't care. Wow. What's this? Shake. What? Aruba. Fury. I don't know. I think it's not just a Quiche. Quiche Lorraine. Cocktail. I'll show you the uh, power plant for the island right here. Here it is. This has all the power for the whole island. And here is the cell tower. So, you wonder why no one has AC? There's your answer. Sandy's out enjoying the dock and the, the air right here is just unbelievable. It's, it's nice and cool. I asked Sandy where we're going. She said, let's go to Starbucks and get a frozen lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Okay, so this is what I look like with short hair. It's not very good, is it? Imagine living in these apartments here, overlooking this beautiful view here. It's unbelievable. Time to get back, back on the ship. We gotta go. I go back on the ship after uh, spending the whole day in Aruba. Ah! Trying to get Sandy in the picture. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a great time. So, do you like Aruba? I do. I just need more time. Need more time? Yeah, so we can explore more. Yeah. We really just went downtown. Yeah, we did. There's a lot to see. One little area, but. Yep, and we did go eat, the, eat lunch. Yeah, we went and ate lunch at a local place yeah, on the beach. On the beach, so that was nice. So that was cool. Now it's back to the ship. Yep. Well, Aruba, you did not disappoint. Beautiful place. We'll be back for sure. Hey, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and become part of the channel. Until next time, guys, have a great one. And from the beautiful island of Aruba, bye. So we're sitting here waiting for the uh, Reuben Starlink uh, launch of these rockets out here. But, uh, you know, they're not going up anytime soon, I guess. I don't know. We're still waiting, though.